Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video So today what we're gonna be showing you guys is the five best brawlers when it comes to defending the bot in siege Now to factor all of this we're not only going to factor how good it is at defending the bot But how good it is at the rest of the game if it's only good at one thing Which is defending the bot and is absolutely useless at everything else. We're gonna place it low We're not gonna place it that high you guys already know it has to be useful in everything so that being said, let's just skip the intro, don't really need it, let's hop into the gameplay, and let's start with number 5. So coming in at number 5, we are going to have Sprout. Now Sprout's a pretty interesting one, it's not that great on a wide selection of maps. Now today's ladder map was Olive Branch, which is easily Sprout's best map, so this definitely helped out a lot for the gameplay. Sprout's gonna look really good in the gameplay. But Sprout is number 5. Now the reason we have Sprout at number 5 is that most of these brawlers that we're gonna put on the list here, they're the DPS. They're just going to absolutely destroy that bot. Where Spike, or not Spike, sorry, Sprout isn't really like that. You need the Sprout Super for it to be effective. So what you want to do with Sprout is kind of just put a wall somewhere and the, I, er, the bot, sorry, is going to run another way. Now, if you're using the gadget that allows you to just pick up your wall and replace it, this is a very good strategy. As you can just break that wall whenever you want, force the bot to go all the way around your spawn, and go to another side just for you to break it and force it to go all the way back now by the time it goes all the way back the ike is going to be able to destroy it especially if it's really low sprout is probably one of the best defenders for low level bots but for high level bots it's not the best because the dps is very low and you're reliant on the ike to take it out or your teammates you guys can see i'm matched with the pam here pam is another really good defensive brawler has a really good dps so we're going to defend really well with our comp but additionally, Sprout is also good in the mid control, so it's not like you're losing anything for having a defensive brawler. You're actually having a pretty good brawler for everything. It's also a good attack brawler. All the throwers are good attack brawlers, so they just have that DPS from hiding over a wall and just chucking those shots forward. But anyways, that is going to be number five. That is going to be Sprout. So let's hop on to the next brawler and let's get into number four. So coming in at number four, we have Spike. Now, Spike is really good at defense. It actually used to be the, the best defensive brawler for Siege at least, in the game until about a month ago when Lu started coming into the picture and everyone realized that Lu Super is probably the best way to defend it, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. Spike is a pretty good defender, probably second or third best right now when it comes purely to defending the bot, but it is not that great at anything else. Now you guys see I just walked up and died there. When you're defending, you want to have your super. If you don't have your super, it's very simple. You just die early, get a couple shots in, respawn, and while you're immune and the bot is on your Ike, you simply just, you know, use your invincibility, go inside the bot and spam your gadget and three shots, and you're going to be able to take it out really easily. Now, super is really essential, and I personally like fertilize if I'm defending. The reason I like fertilize is that if you're inside the bot, it's going to be swinging away and punching you, doing some damage, and when you're in that fertilize, you can get an extra shot or two off, so it's really good. I like it a lot more than Curveball when defending. But outside of that, Spike just really isn't that great for mid control anymore. A lot of the brawlers that are really meta kind of counter it, such as Barley or Sprout or, you know, any thrower, to be honest. And it's just a little bit weak. It's not that great on attack unless a team literally lets you get inside their Ike, which is normally really hard. I'm able to do it here, so I'm able to get a lot of damage. But normally that does not happen. It is very rare, but it happened here. We're going to be able to get the win in this game, but that is going to be our number four spot. Again, a really good defender, and if you have a really good team, it's really good to have, but there are better options on most maps, so let's hop into it, and let's show you guys the top three. So coming in at number three, we have the OG original defensive brawler, Pam. Now, Pam has been in the top five defensive brawlers for Siege bots forever since Siege was a mode, and it's going to continue staying in that top five probably forever because it is just basically made for defending siege now usually what we've done in these games is give them the first bot so we can kind of show you guys the defensive strategies with the brawlers now sam for whatever reason likes to forget the fact that we're supposed to give them the first bot so we're gonna get the second bot over here and we're gonna end up getting the last bot but with pam it's pretty simple you kind of just shoot the bot as it's coming down the map you basically just shoot at it and shoot at it and shoot at it and you have really high DPSs, Pam, if you hit all your shots, although it's kind of a ranged brawler and you're kind of spraying, if you're really close to something, you're doing a ton of damage. So there, you're going to be doing a lot of damage when defending an Ike, when it's just, or not defending an Ike, sorry, defending a bot, when it's just walking back and walking towards you, all you're doing is just shooting it, shooting it, shooting it, and you're trying to stay up 
with your turret. Now, if you use first star power, you're going to be gaining HP just from shooting it. I believe it's 40 a shot. It might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less. I don't know the exact number, but it's really good and really, really powerful. By the time it gets into your zone, it should be at like 80% or 60%, depending on how big the bot is. And then your efforts mixed with the Ike, mixed with whatever teammates decide they want to help out with, help you out is going to do really well. Now, unlike Spike or Lou, it's probably not going to get you 100% perfect defense. This is something that you're chipping down. You're not doing big damage to straight away. But as you guys can see, we're totally fine with just dying, doing damage. We're going to respawn. They're going to do a little bit of percent, but that's fine because that's normal with Pam. They're going to do about 30. But we did a really good job defending their all-in push, and that's going to be Pam. Pam is our number three brawler. Now we're going to move into number two. And let's show you guys what's up. So coming in at number two, we're going to have 8-Bit. Now, 8-Bit's kind of a new addition on Siege defending list because it didn't used to be very good at all, to be honest. Um, but when they buffed the turret and they gave you that speed star power, I think it's a star power. Yes, it is a star power. They gave 8-Bit the speed. And then additionally, they also gave 8-Bit kind of like a melting star power that's really good against a high safe or a bot. It is just really, really strong now, 8-Bit. It's basically an overpowered Pam in a way. It does the exact same thing Pam does. You just spray a bot as hard as you can. Now, again, Sam or Rags, forgot which one, decided that they wanted to tie the bot instead of giving them the first bot. So we're trying to give them the second bot here, doing a pretty good job at keeping the game even and kind of trying while also giving them the second bot. Um, but this brawler is just so good for defending. The DPS is so high and you also boost your teammates. So as you guys can see, we have Pam and 8-Bit. I don't know why we have Pam and 8-Bit, but we do. Both of these in a turret, the bot's doing 0%. Instead of chipping it down, you're kind of chipping it, in, but you're also just doing an insane amount of damage. And once you use that gadget inside your turret, you're just absolutely melting the bot. So you guys are going to see the bot's going to come up over here. I'm just going to target it. I'm going to use my turret, and you see the percentage of that bot just absolutely fly down. It's going to do 0%. There's no way it can even get into our zone. Now, the reason it isn't number one is because there's a lot of maps where it's not very good. Some assembly required being one of them, nuts and bolts being one of them, where you can't really peek corners too well. You're not really that great because there's a lot of walls and 8-Bit doesn't do great with a lot of walls. But it is really good for offense. It is really good for defense. And it's an insane defensive brawler. So that's why it's going to be number two on this list. We're going to move into number one. If number one wasn't obvious enough on this list, I really don't know. What could be more obvious? But anyways, let's hop into it and let's show you guys what the number one brawler is. So coming in in the number one spot, if this wasn't obvious enough already, I don't know what could be more obvious, but we have Lou. Now Lou is easily just the best defensive brawler in the game. The super just gets that bot stuck and there is nothing that the bot can do about it. There's nothing the opposing players can do about it unless they break a wall, which is starting to become more relevant in CG games. You're seeing a lot of players run Brock or Cole or just something that can break a wall so the Lou can't just dominate defense for the entire game. But that is not the point here. The point here is that Lou is just an absolute beast on defense. There's basically nothing that the opponents can do with Lou. On top of the fact that the super literally stops the bot at the very top of most maps and doesn't allow any progression whatsoever. You also have a gadget that can just body block and tank about 10% of the bot's super. Maybe a little bit less, but about 10% or 10% of the bot's health. I said bot super. Um, when it's just standing there getting shot at by the Ike and you're just absorbing shots with your shield, it is really, really good. Now we're going to get this bot here and we have an insane defense at the end. So we're just going to skip a little bit forward. Let's go towards that defense and let's show you guys how insane Lou really is. So coming in at the end of the game here, you guys are going to see they have a 10 bot and we can only allow 4%. Now they do have a barley and if I was in VC or something, I would scream go kill the barley because the barley is what's going to be doing damage against us. But right now Rags is getting on the bot. We're going to have to place that high super over there on the left. Now while Sam is tending to that, I actually go to the barley so the barley can't super. They're going to be shooting at the safe. They're not going to be able to and all we needed was an aggro defense and we did get that. The bot did 0%, the barley did 0%, the Pam did 0%, Lou did 0% but... Pam had a damage turret, which did damage to our safe. None of us realized that was the star power, and that is why they won. So we almost had a ridiculous defense, and that happens all the time when you play Lou, because it is super easy to do that with Lou. But unfortunately, we fall just short. But that's besides the point. The point is that Lou is the best brawler for defense in the game, and there is no competition for it. But anyways, it's going to end my video today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you guys want to see any types of videos, let me know in the comment section below because I like to do what you guys want me to or want me to do. I want to do what you guys want to see. So just let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.